Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, chicos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Fine. You, Angela. Ah, uh, very good. Okay. Aquí con oh, ganas de no ver. dormirme. <laughs> Con, con coffee para aguantar hasta las 10, así con estas energías que empiezo, porque ya después se van debilitando. Cierto, estar preparado. Cabal, preparado con café, me agarra de comer, igual a veces no paro el sueño. No, larga la dolor. Sí, es que yo creo que es el cansancio ya. Si nos levantábamos sí, sí. muy temprano y, y no paramos, Exacto. y nos venimos a sentar aquí. Cabal. Bueno. Ah. Pero lo bueno es que ya tienes los cafecitos ahí. Sí, sí, siempre me lo tomo, porque si ah, no, bien. desde un principio me estoy ahí relajando para dormir. De razón. Sí, así que qué bueno vernos, muchachos. Igual, good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. I'm here. I'm sorry that I'm... I'm connecting it just on one device right now. I don't know what happened with my computer. I always turn on the computer like at seven, seven yeah. o'clock. And then like at 7.30, I'm trying to open soon and everything. And I start like the meeting like 15 minutes before. And today when I was trying to, you know, start the meeting like at 7.45, suddenly my computer gets freezed. Okay. So I'm restarting the computer, but I'm already here in this uh, in this other device. So just let me, um, oh, it's getting on right now the computer. So during the meantime, also we are going to be waiting for the rest. Right now it's just, uh, we have seven participants right now. Okay, so we will be waiting for the rest and I will be um, restarting my computer right now because as I told you, I don't know what happened. I guess that I have to clear cookies, cache, and everything from this computer because it's too slow. But don't worry, okay? So everything will be fine. And thank you for being on time. Thank you for joining, joining the meeting. And thank you for your cameras, okay? For the ones that already have the camera. Well, so what day is today, Darwin? You are always very uh, smiling. <laughs> That's yeah. nice, uh, Darwin. So what is uh, today date, Darwin? It's my day is very good. But uh, listen the question one more time. Uh, what is uh, today date? So let me see if I can try It's like... I don't have the background because I'm connected on my phone. So let me see right here. So what is today date? Darwin, when we say what it's uh, today date, what is that? What is that? Mm -hmm. What is that to say? Is Yes, when I, uh, I'm, I'm asking you what is uh, today date, so what would be the answer for that question? Ah, uh, answer your question. I'm sorry. Hello, teacher. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if you have issues with your audio, but I'm not able to listen. I listen to you, but far, far, far away. I don't know if it's me. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Change the, the audio. Yeah, uh, let's see. Let me see what somebody else. Let's see, Angela. Hello, Angela. I just want to test if it is you, Darwin, or if my audio, the one that it's not working. Uh, Hello. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, I can hear you, Angela. I can hear you well. So I don't know, Darwin, if it is your headset or I don't know, but I listen to you very far, far, far away. So just let me let me connect my computer 
let me enter on the meeting. Okay. But um, that's a simple question. Let's see, uh, Osmin. Okay, let's see, Osmin. When I ask you what is, uh, what's today date? So what will be the answer? <clears throat> well, good evening, teacher. In my case, I have good day. Hmm. Yeah, but the question is, uh, what is today date? I'm not asking you uh, how was or how is your day going on? Okay, so let's see. That's why I'm asking you this question because if I ask you uh, what day is today, Osmin, if I ask you what day it's today, so what will be the answer? I, I, I know sir, then go, excuse me, teacher. Creo que no, creo que casi no se me escucha. Uh, lo urdes, lo urdes, go ahead. Um, today is Wednesday. Ah, okay. Today is Wednesday. If I say, uh, what day is today, right? If I ask you the question, what day is today? So the answer will be today is Wednesday. Okay, nice. Lourdes, that's the, the correct one. So, but now my first question is, what's today date? No, what day is today? Ya respondimos eso. What day is today? Oh, today is Wednesday. Ahora estoy preguntando, what's a today date? So, today, volunteer? Today is November 17th. 17th. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Uh, Rosa, right? So, Rosa, yeah. Elena, there you go. Yeah. Sorry, I'm on my phone right now, but I'm about to join the meeting on the laptop, okay? I don't know what happened, but it's taking so long, but I'm almost there, okay? But we are learning something, okay? So look, uh, what day is today, okay? Today is a Wednesday, but what's today date, okay? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? ¿Qué fecha, right? ¿Qué fecha es hoy, okay? Ah, in Spanish, right? Today is Wednesday, the 17th of November, right? So, así me diría usted en español, si yo le digo, mire, ¿qué fecha es hoy? Ah, hoy es 17 de noviembre. So, that is the question, okay? Anótelo por ahí, si no, no lo habían escuchado antes ese tipo de pregunta. Ya se lo voy a poner en el chat. De, díganle, tienes que no estoy en la computer aún, pero ya está loading, okay? So, but that is, okay, what's a today date? ¿Qué fecha es hoy? Cuando yo le pregunte mañana, what's today date? Usted me va a decir, ah, oh, today is uh, November the 17th, okay? So, ahora es 17 de noviembre, okay? So, that's, that's the correct answer, okay? Nice, thank you, okay? So, right now we are... 13 participants. Ya vamos llegando, ya vamos llegando todos para pasar a la attendance. And I will be also connected from my, uh, from my computer because I don't know what happened. Um, as I told you, I always um, connect the, the, the term on the computer very early, but I don't know what happened today. Se quedó freeze, murió, murió justo, faltaban um, page on responsive, si es que me da many, many errors, I don't know why, okay, but let's see, uh, it was clear, quedó claro esta, esta, esta pregunta, se logró comprender la, la idea, Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Nice, 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 nice. So let me log in one more time. Your son is the question. Uh, Hi, everybody. How are you? Hi, Susana. Nice. We are excited. Hi, 
Thank you for joining, Susie. Let me join the meeting in the other equipment. Just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. Let me turn off the camera because I'm already, your download should start in a few seconds. My goodness, why? Me dice como que no tengo la, la app, pero ahí está loading. So I'm sorry, pero this is part of the action as well, okay? Esta es parte del espectáculo. Technical issues, okay? The good thing is that I'm, I'm already recording the, the, the meeting, okay? So, and I'm already in the other device. Nice. Ah, finally. I don't know. Siempre, as I told you, siete, yo tengo la computadora encendida para evitar esto. Y justo faltaban diez a las siete cuando se quedó freeze. Y la tuve que restart and everything. So let's see if I can. Um, I need the host. Me. Mm -hmm. Just give me one moment. Okay, yes, now I'm recording in this computer, I guess. Yep. Okay, so Let's start with the attendance, okay? So let me open the file right here about the attendance and we are going to start, okay? So just give me one moment right here. Let me log in in the computer, but tell me, I don't know, did you do something special today? Did you do something interesting? Did you rest today? Ustedes trabajan from Monday to Friday o you have a day off during the week? In my case, I work in, in my company uh, every, every week. Okay, so you work from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Saturday? Yeah, it is rotated in my work. Ah, okay, so you don't have the same schedule. So you yeah. have different schedules. Ah, okay, 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 nice. So, but you don't work um, Sundays or you do? Uh, this week, I, 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 mm -hmm. I will work um, Sunday. So you do, you yeah. do. Ah, okay. So probably you have one Sunday off and then the other Sunday you have to work, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's interesting. It's nice. Okay. So sometimes uh, in my case, for example, in my case, uh, in my official job, okay, the one that it's from Monday to Friday is just from Monday to Friday. Okay. So then... Um, on Saturdays, I have just classes at the university and from Monday to Friday that I'm here right here with you, right? So, and then Sundays right now, it's like the only day that I have free, okay? It's like not, it's not like a vacation day because you know, when we are at home, there are many, many things to do, right? So in la casa no se descansa, dice aquí. Les, usted arregla un pedacito, se desordena otro y se mueve a otro a arreglar otro pedazo y ya se desarregló el que había arreglado. Especially if you, we have kids, right? So, así pasa. Yo recojo juguetes todos los días, todo, cada rato. Y al rato ya están otra vez. But that is normal, okay? Y eso que solo es uno. Tuviera dos, tres, cuatro. I don't know, no estuviera aquí. <laughs> so imagine, Susana, how many do you have? I have four children. 
four. Oh my God. Yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. I'm getting crazy just with one. Imagine now four. Oh my God. No, that's too much. That's too much. Hey, nice background. Ophelia, Christmas background. And also Nelson, the Christmas tree. Hey, nice. Yeah, good evening, teacher. Good evening. So I'm about to start with the attendance. I'm sorry that I'm kind of late with this, but don't worry, okay? So we are learning, okay? And we need to talk. Besides uh, learning the material and everything, I need to talk with you. I need to know you a little bit more, okay? So since we already mentioned that today is Wednesday, November the 17th, right? So let me pass the attendance and let me know if you are here, please. Uh, we have Ada Patricia. Here. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Adriana Stephanie. I guess that she will be joining the class later. Uh, Anna Michelle. Present, Miss. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Angela de Jesus. Present, teacher. Thank you, Angie. Angela. Uh, Darwin Edgardo. Present, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you, Darwin. Nice. Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria. Creo que no, no ha ingresado. Flor de Maria. Eh, bueno. So then we have Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Gloria. Nice. Joana Patricia. Joana, Joana, Joana. No. Eh, Lourdes, Beatriz. Present, ah, Joana, Patricia. Okay, Joana, thank you, thank you. Nice. Uh, Lourdes, Lo present, Lourdes, thank you, Lourdes. Nice. Uh, Margarita. Margarita, I guess. No, she won't be here because I don't know who is. Uh, Mayra, Melanie. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Nice. Um, Nelson Edgardo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, Ophelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ophelia. Nice. Osmin Bairas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. No. Eh, Rosa Elena. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, Rosa. Um, Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandrita. Nice. Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you, Susie. Chancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank Good you. Evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, Sulma Rosaura. Present. Thank you, Sulma. Nice. Okay, so I, I already have the attendance for right now. And uh, you know that we will pass the attendance one more time at um, night. Okay, so let's see. Let's just start with something. Okay, so in, the, in this uh, Zoom um, platform, right? That's the platform that we use. We can put a reaction, right? So we can put a reaction like, like this one. Okay, look at right here. We have like happy. So, but we have emojis. You know that nowadays emojis are very famous, right? In the past, no existia eso, right? But nowadays emoji, if you don't have time to be like, I'm eating right now. So you put something, you know, food. So, and immediately we know that the person is eating or it's thinking about food or it's something. Darwin, Christmas, okay? So look, what we are going to do right now, go to the icon that says reactions in your platform and choose one um, emoji, okay? The one that, that you like or the one that is your feeling right now. For example, if you are like surprising, okay? 
So you can put the, the surprise uh, face right there and you will tell me why you are surprising. Or if you are laughing like ha, 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 you have the emoji laughing. So you can tell, you will tell us why you are laughing, okay? If you are, uh, for example, um, with the Christmas, the one that Darwin put in there, like the little uh, Santa Claus. So why you put that one? Oh, because I'm about to, um, I don't know, celebrate Christmas or something, okay? So just choose one emoji, okay? So um, you are going to say why you select them, okay? So are we clear? Yes. Okay, I don't know what happened with my computer. It says not responding, my goodness. I guess I don't know what happened with my computer, but I'm there, I'm connected and everything, but it says Zoom meeting, not responding. <sighs> my goodness, but I don't know if I will be able to see your, no sé si ya pusieron los emojis, pero no los no veo acá. Let me see if I see it in the other device. No, I don't see. I don't know if you already. Oh, yes. Now I see some. Let's see. Oh, my goodness, Susana. Those eyes. What is the meaning? Oh, my God. <laughs> tell us, tell us. Goodness. No sé si me escuchan. Yes. Okay, uh, Susana, I saw that you put the the two eyes like Okay, I'm in the in the right here in the phone one more time. I don't know what happened with my computer. Let me open the, the meeting one more time right here. Oh my God. Probably it's the internet connection as well. So let me, let me, let me, let me uh, join in one more time. I'm here, okay, I'm sorry. I have issues with the computer. I don't know what happened. It's loading the meeting. Okay, so the, the, the emojis, the reactions, uh, they appear right there, but suddenly it, they got disappear. I just, I was able to see the two eyes from Susana Hernandez. Tell us, uh, Susie, what is the meaning of those big eyes? Okay, your reaction. I am, look, I am pro, only, only use, I don't know, um, I don't know that many options. Ah, okay. So it, right there, what it says, uh, reactions, there is an option like three dots. You click it and you will see all the emojis, okay? Yes. Like the ones that we have in the phone. So you can choose different, different ones. Yes, I don't know that. Uh, 
Oh, okay, okay, just a moment. My goodness, it's asking me to log in in the... I'm sorry. I don't know. Today it's not my day with the computer. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Ada, Patricia, I didn't see what was the the emoji that you set up. Can you please put it one more time, Ada Patricia? Put the emoji one more time in your screen. Oh my goodness, surprising. <laughs> why, Patricia, why you select that one? Um, maybe not a uh, classmate today okay so we we you are kind of surprised because of your classmates <laughs> okay okay nice let's see thank you patricia let's see nelson put your emoji nelson Edgardo. Sure. my father finally is your question yeah just choose one emoji from the reactions, the, the action that we have in the Zoom that says reactions. So you can choose one uh, picture right there, one emoji. Mm -hmm. So. For me it's one star. It depends. It depend, uh, the situation. Oh, okay, but that was like celebrating the the icon that you put is like celebrating, right? Celebrating. Why you are celebrating? What are you celebrating right now? Nelson. Yes. Give me. Mm -hmm. Usted me tiene, me va, me va a decir por qué selecciona ese emoji, right? Why? Ahí hay un montón, right? So why yes. you are choosing that one? Let's see, and uh, when, when it depends, but, but in the moment is is a is a is a fun or uh, is celebration is is but. Nemoye mm, is the the fun for me. Okay, okay, nice. Let's see, Gloria. Let's see, Gloria Elizabeth. What would be the emoji for you? Okay, teacher. Um, the history. You recommend that yesterday? Um, yeah, I do have, I do have a book that I can share with you. Just let me, let me search for that and I will uh, share it with you, okay? Lo voy a buscar, cual podría ser como el más appropriate for you, okay? So just... Uh, um, uh, and you recommend the caperucita roja. Uh -huh. so how, how do we say caperucita roja? Uh -huh. Water. Water. Red, red riding hood. Red riding hood. Red riding hood. Red riding hood. That's the caperucita roja, right? Okay, okay. So yeah, uh, Gloria, I will search for that. Thank you for putting it in the chat, Sandrita, as well. So nice. Let's see, Yancy Lisbeth. 
So what will be your reaction? What will be your emoji for today? You are on mute, Chancy. Oh, so cute, Chancy. Why that one? Because uh, this day is a good day in my work, in my house, in, with my friends, in my family. Okay, okay, okay. I like that emoji because it looks like so friendly, right? So nice, so cute. Nice, thank you. What about you, Sulma? What will be your emoji? Uh, let me see. Oh my goodness, apple. a green apple, why? <laughs> because I'm eating right now. And... <laughs> Lechua, no sé cómo se dice lechua. <laughs> okay, because you are eating. Okay, yes. nice. Okay, I like it. And you, you something really healthy, right? Nice. Uh, let's see, Michelle. What would be your emoji, Michelle? Okay, my emoji is. This. Oh, Christmas tree. Uh -huh. Yes. Christmas tree. Why? Because I already feel like it's Christmas and I love mm -hmm. this time of year. Yay. It is super duper nice. Okay. I really like yes. Christmas time as well because, uh, you know, everyone is like exciting. We have food, a lot of food everywhere. So we have different uh, decorations, colors, lights everywhere. I like it too as well, Michelle. Nice. Osmin, you raise your hand. Go ahead, Osmin. Okay, teacher. I put my emotion because I am... Um, no, no, excuse me. Because I feel you now. Okay, nice. That's amazing. That's amazing to be good. Okay, to be good because of the class. Okay, so just let me switch the microphone. Okay, let me switch it because I'm already in the and the computer as well. Hi. In my phone. Okay. okay, I'm already connected in the computer one more time. My goodness, I'm sorry. Miren, créanme que quisiera que no pasaran estas cosas, pero that is something that is not on my hands, believe it or not. It's not on my hands. My goodness. And it says that you, ah, yeah, I'm recording right now. Tengo que validar que esté siendo grabado esto porque si no nos toca repetir toda la sesión, chicos. Oh. My goodness. Sí, aquí así es la cosa. Pero ya, yeah, I'm recording. Ok. So, oh, Rosa, why you are so surprised? Rosa Elena, the emoji. <laughs> why mm. that one? Because you say we have to record it. Ya, yeah, no, that, that's oh true, pero no, no le digan a nadie que yo le dije. Pero it's true, it's true. If we don't have the two hours and 10 minutes record, um, we have to repeat the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole um, class. So I'm recording right now, but I don't know at the end how, we, uh, how this uh, video will be because um i'm recording like in two devices so i don't know how it will be pero but don't worry about that okay so mayra mayra melanie what will be your emoji my emoji is a moon oh yeah it is a moon why because tomorrow is the eclipse and oh. in <laughs> And in our time zone, it will be possible to see. Wow, okay, I heard about it. So at what time it will be, supposedly? 
I remember that is that it will be to 11 p.m. Okay, 11 p.m. So as soon as we finish the class, so we can go out and see the eclipse. And see them, the eclipse. Okay, yes. okay, perfect. Thank you, nice. So um, let's see, we have time just for one more emoji. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I don't see any emoji. Angela, Angela, what will be your emoji <laughs> for today? Okay, teacher, my emoji. Uh... <gasps> oh my God. No, 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 no. Es que <ríe> me equivoqué, es que lo estoy buscando. De hecho, ya lo tenía. No, 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 no estoy llorando. De hecho, oh my God. siempre me estoy durmiendo. Ah, ok, ok. Pero no Pero es not el... crying, it's not crying. No es ese, si no es. Vamos a ver. Podría ser, no sé si eso es un café. Oh, yeah, it is coffee. Ok, I have water. Water, uh -huh. but I do have coffee as well. I have a cup of coffee. So that we need it. We need it. Okay. Nice. So you are a coffee lover, Angela? Yes, I love coffee because <laughs> always I always I need coffee. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely, definitely. I know it's not easy. It's not easy to have the whole day, you know uh working or doing something and be here in the class so no problem you can drink as much coffee as you need angela okay yes. nice okay let's see let's see let's see let's see um, let's see i'm ver aquí la vamos a preguntar uh, Lourdes, Lourdes, Beatriz, so what would be your emoji? My emoji in, in the chat, teacher. No, just put the reaction in the Zoom. Mm. You have an action right there that says reaction and you can choose uh, an emoji, okay? Okay. Wait me, please. Okay. Is my emoji. Okay, celebrating. Okay, it so is. what is the meaning for you? Um, for me, because this month, mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, for me are very special because uh, in, in November I complete. Uh -huh. You celebrate? I uh, Okay, I celebrate um, anniversary with my husband and um, in December for the holidays and the different um, parties or or other activities. Okay, okay, nice. So because of the anniversary celebration, right? Because of the anniversary, anniversary celebration. celebration. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. I guess that you can see my screen. Oh my goodness, but if you see my computer, I don't know. Ven que hace cosas extrañas, pero I don't know what happened, my goodness. So, but now, yes, you can see the screen, right? So we are going to see the present perfect, okay? So we are intermediate. No los quiero asustar, pero we are intermediate, okay? So the tenses and the topics that we will see are intermediate ones, okay? So at the beginning, beginners, allá veían el verbo to be, ya le enseñaban el is, are, am, right? So allá al inicio le enseñaron eso, right? So right now we need to learn something 
uh, different, per, present perfect, okay? So I don't know if you already know the present perfect, probably some of you, you will say, oh yes, I know the tense, okay? So, but uh, if this is something new for you, so we will try to see different examples, okay? For you to know how to use the present perfect, okay? Presente perfecto, si lo traducimos, okay? Presente perfecto, okay? So that's what we are going to learn today, okay? The present perfect. So look, we have this, just let me point right here. See el pointer, donde está, what is, what is, what is it right here? Okay, look, present perfect tense, okay? El, pres, el tiempo presente perfecto, okay? La, el, el modo, en español, nosotros decimos tiempo gramaticales, right? El pasado, el presente. En español tenemos muchos más tiempos que en inglés, okay? So, en inglés son poquitos, en español son un montón. So, pero this is one of the tenses in English, okay? The present perfect. Um, this is the famous has and have plus the past participle, okay? El presente perfecto es el que lleva estos auxiliares, el has o el have, depending on the subject, plus the verb using the past participle. Creo que, no sé si ya les han compartido alguna lista de verbs en, en módulos anteriores. I don't know if you already have a list, verb list. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So, si ya les habían compartido una lista y ustedes pueden ver, right? That in English we have the verb, we have the uh, simple past and the past participle, right? So vienen así las columnitas, right? So the past participle, that's the, 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 the verb that we are going to use with the present perfect, okay? Look, it says right here that this is a, yeah, present perfect is an activity that is start in the past and continue to the present, okay? Esta aquí hay como una línea, right? So this is the past, okay? Lo que yo hice ayer. This is the present, what I'm doing right now. And this is the future, right? So what I'm going to do tomorrow later, okay? So the present perfect, it's right here, okay? Something that is start in the past, but also continue in the present, okay? So that will be the, that will be the um, something that you need to put it in your mind, okay? Anote por ahí, el present perfect is something that is start in the past and continue to the present, okay? That means that we are going to use these terms when we want to mention or when we want to talk about something that is start in the past, but it's still we are in that activity, we are in that process right now in the present, okay? So, el presente simple ya lo vieron ustedes, okay? So, eso se mira allá en el beginner, okay? The simple present, did you remember the simple present? Uh, vamos a ver, vengo algo preguntona, solo porque la computadora está fallando. Uh, let's see, let's see, vamos a preguntarle a... Quiero ver, le vamos a preguntar a... Susana, Susana, Susana. Um, can you tell us when we are going to use a Susana simple present? The simple present. Did you remember, Susie, the simple present? The simple present um, they use in the in the moment right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can be, can be, but we have also the present continuous. Did you remember the present continuous? Eso lo vieron allá como en el módulo 3 o 4. 
present continuous. ¿Se acuerdan de los verbos con ing? Yes. ing. Ah, ok. So the ing uh, verbs are the present continuous. So yes, the when present. You're doing the action. Exactly. There you go. So that one will be present continuous, will be the tense that you are going to use when you are talking about something that you are doing in the moment. Okay, so if I'm eating right now, so I will say I'm eating my dinner right now. So you see that I'm eating, okay? So if you are like, I don't know, drawing or writing a letter, so you can say, look, I'm writing a letter right now. So we can see it, okay? So that will be the present continuous, okay? Nice, uh, thank you, Susie. Uh, let's see, let's see, Darwin, Darwin, okay? Did you remember, Darwin, when we are going to use the simple present? Simple present. Yes, teacher, for example, uh, in the sentence, I am playing basketball. Mm -hmm. But I am playing basketball, that will be present continuous. Yo estoy jugando, yeah, right? Ah. ah, okay. Play. I play basketball, but you need something else right there. Okay, ahí le habría que agregarle algo por ahí. That would be an everyday expression. I play basketball every weekend. Okay every weekend because remember the be careful with the mute alguien creo que tiene el, el micrófono ahí activo um, let me see let me mute right here so thank you darwin but ahí va, ya vamos llegando ya vamos llegando okay so uh let's see rosa elena when we are going to use the simple present Estas son preguntas del módulo 2, del módulo 3, allá por marzo, quizás vieron esto. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I, re I remember that we use simple present when we are talking about uh, uh, an action that we, 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 we make uh, every day, every week. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. We need, to, we need to use uh, uh, the complement. I play Ex I play basketball every day, every week, mm -hmm. every month. Mm -hmm. Yay, I nice. Ya ven que yeah. si vieron eso, si se acuerdan. Lo que pasa es que a veces como tanta cosa se nos olvida, pero por eso estamos recortando aquellos viejos tiempos, right? So yes, a simple present is the terms that we are going to use for routines, everyday activities. Allá le tuvieron que decir, mire, yo... Usted puede, I get up at five o'clock every day. So I take a shower at seven o'clock every day. I go out with my friends every Friday. I uh, cook dinner every weekend, okay? I share with my friends every day. I work every day. So simple present will be for actions or activities that are like a routine, something that is repetitive, something that you do every, every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, okay? Se me dice, mira, yo todos los años viajo a donde sea, right? So that is present, uh, simple present. I travel to US every year. That is something that every year, you are doing it, okay? Usted me dice, mire, yo todos los días eh, salgo a caminar. So I walk every day in the morning, okay? That is a simple present, okay? Now we have the simple past. Let's see, Mayra, did you remember when we are going to use the simple past? Yes, when I mm -hmm. say some action, what I do in the past. For ah. example, I played basketball last week. Perfect, nice, there you go. Mayra, the simple pass is for an activity that you did. Ya lo hice, ya pasó, ya se quedó allá, okay? 
usted me dice, mire, yo ayer me comí cuatro pupusas. Y eso ya pasó, right? So, ya se comió las cuatro pupusas, ya rompió la dieta, ya estuvo, ya pasó. Ok, so, ahí usted me dice, I ate four pupusas yesterday. Over. Ok, ahí el pasado, right? Eh, eh, lo que usted tiene que saber ahí es que hay que aprenderse los verbos, right? In past. And I always say this, if you don't know birds, you don't know how to talk. Así de simple y así de fácil. Usted no se puede los verbos, usted no va a poder hablar. Ok, so you okay. need to know the birds because allá al inicio le dijeron que el verbo y allá en primero o tercer grado le decía la maestra, el verbo es la acción en la oración. Ok, so if you don't have a bird, you don't have an action. So the same story in English, if you don't know the birds, so you don't know how to talk. Ok, yo me puedo poder... No sé, 100 verbos, un ejemplo, un decir, 100 verbos. Pero si yo no me puedo el pasado de esos verbos, yo no puedo decir algo en pasado. The same story right here with the present perfect. If you don't know the past participle of the birds, so you won't be able to talk in present perfect. That means que tenemos que aprendernos los verbos y lastimosamente no hay una una clave mágica, ¿verdad? que una pastilla y ya se me quedan todos los verbos. No, eso es mentira, eso no es así. So you need to memorize the verbs. You need to practice. So if you want, I have a short list, like a hundred verbs. So I can share it with you. I will share it later in the WhatsApp group. If you can check, we have the verbs right there, like the common ones. Usted busca en internet, te van a salir unas listas de miles de verbos, un montón. Pero no, con unos 100 que agarre y una lista ahí un poco decente, unos 100. Se ponga de 5 en 5, ver un día 5, mañana otro 5. And try to repeat it, ¿ok? Ahí le toca a uno como cuando está allá en el, no sé, como en noveno grado que le dicen apréndase la tabla periódica. Y ahí anda uno diciéndolo por lado, bien que feo, ¿verdad? Pero that's the way it is. So, the same story in the, with the birds, ¿ok? Be like Saying the birds, saying the birds, put it there, do like a mini lines about the birds and you will memorize it. Because if you want to talk in past, you need to know the birds in past. And if you want to talk in present perfect, so you need to know the past participle of the bird. Okay, so ya definimos el futuro, eso no lo hemos visto, but future is something that you will do later, okay? So eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, el futuro, okay? So, but the present perfect is when you start doing something in the past, but it's still, okay? So alguien me puede decir, mire, uh, teacher, eh, yo estoy estudiando inglés desde enero. Enero ya pasó, pero usted todavía está estudiando. Entonces, ahí voy a ocupar el present perfect, right? Because it's the activity or the action start in the past, but it's still, uh, it is impacted in the present. I have been learning English since January. Ahí está el bonito present perfect, okay? So, let's see what else we have right here. Look, we have the present perfect tense, the formula, okay? This is the grammatical formula that we have, okay? So, we have like in all the tenses, we have positive, negatives, and uh, questions, right? So, the same story like with the other tense. Tenses, you need to know how to create positive sentences, negative sentences, and create questions, okay, using the present perfect. Look at the uh, formula right here. If you want to create a positive sentence using the present perfect, you need the subject plus uh, have or has, depending on the subject, plus the past participle of the verb and also the complement, right? So the example will be, I have tried sushi, okay? Yo he probado sushi, pero yo puedo volver a comer ahora. El sushi no se ha acabado, right? So I have tried 
sushi. Ya lo probé, pero puedo volver a probar ahora, mañana, qué sé yo. So that is a present perfect tense. Look at the negative ones, ¿ok? Usted quiere decir una oración en negativo. Presente perfecto, negative one. So this is the formula. Look, we have the subject. We have the have not. We can use the apostrophe, right? Haven't or has not, hasn't, okay? With the apostrophe plus the past participle of the verb. So simple, I have not tried sushi. Ok, ni en el pasado ni en el presente he probado el sushi, right? So I have not tried sushi, ok? Yo nunca he comido, dice una, ¿verdad? O sea, nunca he comido, ni en el pasado ni en el presente, right? So that is present perfect. Then we have questions, ok? How we can create a question? We switch, right, the order, and we have the have or has, depending on the subject, plus the subject, plus the past participle, plus the question mark. In, una, in English, you know that the question mark is very important. Yo no lo puedo olvidar el question mark if it is a question, okay? So have you tried sushi? Usted le dice a alguien, hey, mira, y vos ya has comido cangrejos a la naranja. Inventando, ¿va? mira, y vos ya has comido, no sé, no sé, eh, pollo, pollo qué, pollo en limón, <ríe> pollo en limón, <ríe> ya has comido, Le, I'm saying uh, things like this para que no me duerman, para que se rían, ok, so, eso no existe, yo esto me lo estoy inventando. Ok, so, but we say like that, right? Ya has probado vos este, no sé, papas a la, no sé, a la manzana, algo así, loco, right? So, así decimos in Spanish, right? So, ya has probado. So, have you tried? Have you tried? Whatever. So, ahí voy a usar el present perfect. Are we clear with the formula? Esto lo pueden anotar, igual si gustan se los puedo enviar, ¿verdad? Al final, eh, para que tengan la formula right there. Uh, yes. Yes, please. You send. Ok, let me, let me take a screenshot, así me sale más fácil. Yep, uh, yep, I have the screenshot right here and I will send it to you at the end, okay? I will send it in the WhatsApp group. We are all in the WhatsApp group, right? No me vaya a salir alguien que no está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Creo yo que así todos estamos, right? So, let's see. Let's see some examples, okay? Oh my goodness, ya son las nueve. Look, uh, we have some examples right here. Okay, so, well, we have the formula as well right here, but it says that a present perfect tense, it's a verb form that express certain actions taking place from, for once or more than once, uh, just a few moments ago, okay? We have right there the formula and we have another sentence, okay? Look at the positive one. He has a complete the mission. Okay, look at the negative one. He has not complete the mission. And the question, has he complete the mission? Okay, so that is the way that we are going to use it. Oh, Nelson, thank you for sharing the a list of birds. Okay, so we can take a look on that, okay? Aquí, lastimosamente, no hay una fórmula mágica. Hay que aprendernos los verbos, okay? If we want to use the different tenses, we need to know the birds, okay? So let's see. Let's see these examples, okay? Um, Osmin, help us reading the first one, this one, please read the example. Okay, okay. Uh, present perfect. Thanks, exam example. Mm -hmm. I have seen that movie 20 times. Perfect, thank you. So look, I have seen. En español yo digo, ay, yo he visto esa película diez veces, pero la voy a volver a ver. 
Okay, yeah. so because I like it or whatever, right? So I have seen, okay, something that happened in the past, but it's still you can watch the movie one more time. Okay, nice. Uh, Sandra, read the next one, please. Sandra Gladys. Okay, I think I have met him once before. Thank you, thank you, Sandra. I think, okay, TH, no se les olvide, cada vez que vean una TH, hay que hacer la pronunciación. Así. Hágale, quiero ver, solo yo le hago, quiero ver todos, hágalo. Si no me enseña la lengua, no la hace bien. Quiero verle la lengua a todos. Nelson, Nelson. I think. <laughs> nice okay yes i think i had met him once before okay yo creo que yo ya lo había conocido a él antes así decimos en español yo a él ya lo conocía dice uno so that was something in the past but I still usted está viendo a la persona y usted se acuerda right so i think i had met him once before Okay, nice. Uh, Michelle, read the next one, please. The third one. Okay, there have been many earthquakes in California. Perfect. There have been many earthquakes in California. What is an earthquake? Terremoto. El de ahora va, no lo sintieron. Oh. Nadie sintió. Hubo una, un, yes, un temblorcito. Estuvo yes. bueno, dicen, Van Nelson. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sí. Uh, I, I didn't feel the, the, the earthquake, but a mí me da miedo. Ojalá no vaya a temblar cuando esté en la clase. No, yo me voy a ir corriendo aquí. Ok. Me too, so. miss. Me too. <laughs> ya, yeah, ya, yeah, I don't know. Ay, qué bien feo se siente. Yes. Okay, yeah, but let's see, earthquake, right? So there had been many earthquakes, okay? So in El Salvador, we have, it had been many earthquakes as well, right? Desde aquellos años y todavía sigue pasando, right? So present perfect, okay? Ophelia, help us with the next one, please, this one. Uh, people, I have traveled to the moon. Thank you. People have traveled, past participle, right? People have traveled to the moon. Okay, that is something, an event that happened in the past, but it's still nowadays we have those uh, travelings, right? To the moon. Nice. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Patricia, the next one, please. Um. People have not traveled to Mars. Okay, people have not traveled to Mars. Okay, allá todavía no, no hemos llegado. Ya vamos a ir, pero todavía no. Okay, so, algún, algo que no ha pasado. Let's see. Gloria, Gloria, help us with the next one, please. Okay. Have you read the book yet? Okay, have you read the book yet? Okay, so question, right? Question in present perfect. Have you read? En español le decimos nosotros, mira, y vos ya leíste este libro. Mira, y vos ya leíste tal cosa. So, have you read? Okay, porque no lo está leyendo en el momento. Le está preguntando si ya lo leyó, right? In the past. Nice. Uh, Adriana, Stephanie, help us with the next one, please. Nobody has ever climbed that mountain. Okay, thank you. Nobody has ever climbed climbed the mountain. Okay, the mountain. Okay, so nadie ha podido escalar, right? So no, ni en el pasado ni ahora, right? So that is present perfect. Nice. Uh, let's see, Sulma. Let's see, yeah, Rosaura, Sulma. The next one, please. Has there ever been a war in the United States? 
Okay, that's a question, right? Have there ever been a war in the U.S.? Okay, ¿qué está preguntando esa question? Has there ever been a war in the United States? ¿Y ha habido alguna guerra en Estados Unidos? There you go. No está, no está diciendo que hay en el presente ni que ni que hubo, está preguntando que si ha habido a, la, a lo largo de la historia del tiempo, right? So, si han habido guerras en los Estados Unidos. So, the answer, let's see, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Michelle, the answer, please. Uh, the answer is, yes, there has been a war in the United States. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, I have to pass the attendance, okay? So, dejen ver si puedo. Oh, I need to stop sharing. No quiero estarme saliendo mucho de la meeting porque se me frisa esto, pero I have to pass the attendance. So, let's see. I have control the attendance right here. So, um, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Ada. Um, Adriana Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Michelle Guevara. I'm here. Thank you. Angela de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you. Darwin Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Flor de Maria. Flor no la he visto hoy. Flor, 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 Flor. No, no vino hoy. Flor. Uh, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Gloria. Uh, Joana Patricia. Joana, Joana. Mm, no sé. Presente, teacher. Ah, ok. Thank you, Joana. Nice. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Margarita. No, dijimos que Margarita no, ¿verdad? Eh, Mayra, Melanie. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Nice. Nelson Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ofelia Orellana. Here teacher. Thank you. Uh, Osmin Bayras. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. Present. Oh, thank you, Rafa. Now you are here. Nice. Uh, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Um, Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandrita. Susana Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, Susie. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. And uh, Sulma Rosaura. Present. Nice. Thank you. Now I have the attendance. Okay. So at the end, you know that I have to uh, pass the attendance one more time, right? So let me share the screen one more time. And we are going to do some um, exercise right now. So we will see if we get the idea about the uh, present perfect, okay? Let me share the screen one more time right here. Okay, there we go. Creo que si logran ver la pantalla, right? Yes. Yes, okay, teacher. so we are going to create the rooms right now, okay? We are going to create the uh, small groups and what we are going to do, we are going to uh, complete this exercise. It says write the sentences belong in the present perfect tense, okay? So ahí tenemos dos ejemplos. Let's see, Rafael, help us read the uh Sentence number one, that is the example. Read the sentence and read the present perfect sentence as well. Rafael. I saw a penguin. I have seen a penguin. Ah, okay. Look, I saw a penguin. That is a simple past. Yo vi un penguin. Okay. I have seen a penguin. Yo he visto un penguin. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, no sé, ya no hay a quien preguntarle. Um, 
Sulma, Sulma, Rosaura. Number two, help us reading just the example. Did they eat breakfast? Have they eaten breakfast? Perfect. So, did en pasado, right? Comieron ellos el desayuno pasado, okay? Have they eaten? Han ellos comido, right? Desayuno. Okay, that will be the present perfect. So, what we are going to do right now, nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms, small groups, and we will have to work as a team, okay? And we are going to complete the uh, sentences and there are two questions, I guess, yes. There are just two questions, okay? So, the ones that we are going to pass into present perfect, okay? So, that's what we are going to do. Una recomendación, una eh, indicación. Cuando vaya a su grupo de trabajo, hay que aprovechar el tiempo. No los puedo dejar más de cinco minutos ahí porque eh, tenemos que regresar al main room. Pero cuando usted llegue, rapidito, vaya compañeros, démosle. No hay que perder tiempo porque son varias oraciones. So, vamos a ver si las logramos hacer todas. Okay? So, are we clear about what we are going to do? Yes, it's clear. It is nice. Yes. Okay, so let me see the breakup rooms right now. We are going to create um four groups. Uno va que uno va a quedar de cinco y otro van a quedar de cuatro. Okay, let me create the rooms. As soon as que le aparezca ahí el mensajito, le da accept and start working with your uh group uh. Uh, classmates. I will share this picture in the WhatsApp group. Ahorita yo se las envío ahí. Okay. So there, here we go.
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, welcome back, welcome back. Sorry que uh, I spent more than, I don't know, more than five minutes because I was in two groups and estaba esperando que terminaran bien todos. Espero que los otros dos grupos I am finished the activity, right? So if not, so we will see right here. So let me share the screen one more time. And here it is. Okay, nice. So present perfect, right? Present perfect. Es lo que estamos analizando, lo que estamos aprendiendo. La listita de verbos hay que tenerla por ahí a la mano porque algunos no hallaban el verbo. Sabían cómo ponerlo o cuál era, pero no cómo escribirlo. It's, it's normal, ok, it's ok, that's why usted tiene que andar ahí, tener su listita de verbos y irse a buscarlo, right? So, present perfect, have and has. Esos son los auxiliares que estamos uh, using for the um, present perfect tense. Ok, let's see, let's see who, um, Rosa Elena. Number three, read the sentence that is in, sim in simple past and then the one that is in uh, present perfect, please. Okay. Jennifer didn't finish her homework. Uh -huh. <gasps> My God. Um, Jen <laughs> Jennifer has, uh -huh. finished, has finished her, her homework. Aha, uh -huh, but it's in negative. Uh, Rosa didn't. Oh, sorry. Negative. Mm -hmm. Jennifer hasn't finished her homework. There you go. Okay, Jennifer okay. Hasn't, hasn't hasn't finished. finished. Okay, finished, finished with ed at the end, right? The verb, yes. her yes. homework. Nice, nice, okay. nice, nice. Uh, next one, Nelson Edgardo, number four. Nelson? Yeah. Thank you. Number four. They they have meet the president. Okay, so the sentence is they meet the president, right, in the past. So in this one, so will be they have met, right? Mm -hmm. The president. Nice, okay. perfect. Mayra, Melanie, number five. Okay, number five. No, we didn't. And the answer is no, we haven't. Yay, nice. Okay, no, we haven't. Okay, no, we haven't. Negative as well. Nice. Let's see. Susana Hernandez, number six. Hi, number six. Did Roberto visit Vancouver? Uh -huh. Has Roberto visited Vancouver? Okay, okay. Question, right? This is a question. Did in the past. So, has Roberto visited Vancouver? There you go. Nice, Susana. Perfect. Uh, the next one will be for Adri. Adriana Stephanie, number seven. Number seven. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, the answer, yes, he has. There you go, okay. Yes, he has, nice. Uh, Angela, number eight. Okay, teacher. Uh, Mr. Smith didn't read the book. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Mr. Smith uh, has... Um, has is <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, the book. <clears throat> Perfect. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Smith hasn't. Negative, uh, right? Hasn't yes. read the book. Okay. The book. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ophelia, number night. Uh, I had was teacher. It has with teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's analyze this one. This one is in past, right? So it says he was a teacher. Okay, so he was in past. So now in uh, present perfect, 
So we need the be, okay? Acuérdense que el was es el verbo to be en pasado, ¿verdad? So we need the verb be, okay? The verb be. Let's see, Michelle, ¿cómo le quedó a usted esto? Number nine. Number nine is, uh, he has been a teacher. Mm, been, Ophelia, been. He has been a teacher. El been es el to be, right? El to be, lo que tenemos nosotros como is, are, was, where, right? So he has been, él ha sido, decimos nosotros, él ha sido un maestro y quizás todavía lo es, right? Por eso es presente perfecto. Él ha sido porque nunca hasta que se muera va a dejar de serlo, right? So he has been a teacher. Okay, nice. Sandra Gladys, number 10. Were you in high? Jail. Okay, were you in jail? Jail. Mm -hmm. He, uh, no, where, where, how, where, how do in jail? Mm -hmm. But where it's in past. Ahí necesitamos, esta es una question, right? So we need uh, the present perfect tense, okay? Sandrita, where is time pasado? Como, ahí como que yo le pregunte, no, no usted, otra persona, yo le pregunto, mira, has estado en la cárcel, en pasado, right? So, en, en, en español, en el presente perfecto sería, has estado... ¿Alguna vez has estado en la cárcel, en prisión, preso, como sea, right? So, ¿cómo sería eso en English? Let's see. Ayúdenos, ayúdenos a... Osmin, Osmin, Osmin. Uh, have been you in jail? Uh -huh. So, Osmin, have been you or have you been? Are you saying have been, have been you in jail? No. Hmm. This is a question. Es una pregunta. Exactly. Dijimos en la fórmula. Déjenme go back. Aquí si puedo. Déjenme ver. Veamos la, veamos la fórmula. Mira. Have or has. Luego necesito el sujeto. Ok. So, ¿cómo quedaría ahí? Uf, Veamos a uh, lo urtes, lo urtes, help us, ayúdenos aquí. Lo yes, urtes. teacher, number 10, right? Yes, number 10. Okay, how been uh, you in jail? Mm -hmm. How you been? No, have, have you been, been you in jail? You have. Mm -hmm. I think that is, have you been? Have you been? Have you been? There you go. By uh, present perfect plus the subject, where to be in este caso, porque ahí está el, el where, okay? And then the complement and the question, right? Have you been? Yo le digo, have you been learning English? ¿Ha estado usted aprendiendo inglés? Have you been in the U.S.? ¿Ha estado usted en Estados Unidos? Have you been working hard? ¿Ha estado trabajando mucho? Have you been studying? ¿Ha estado estudiando? Have you been? ¿Ok? Ese es el present perfect. ¿Ok? Nice. Nice. Yes. I have a question. Eh, have you been o sea siempre tiene que ver el, el, el being oh, porque al, tendría que ser el verbo en, that's en the to be yes. sería ahí este being es porque está el verbo to be where uh -huh. you in jail ok so como en el presente simple tenemos el is are en el uh, to be is are am en pasado tengo was where yo fui, él era, yo era, ok, I was, yo era, eh, I were, yo fui, ok, so, el being, el, 
alguien creo que tiene el micrófono ahí, déjenme poner mi otra aquí. So, ahí, eh, that would be been, ok? Been sería el del present perfect, ok? Have you been? Ha estado, ha sido. Si yo le digo, have you been in La Palma, Chalatenango? ¿Usted ha estado alguna vez ahí en La Palma, Chalatenango? Have you been? Ok, so that's the, the, the to be, ok, ese es el to be para el presente perfecto. Nice, sigamos, Dios mío, the time is running. So the next one, the next one will be for Gloria, Gloria Elizabeth, please help us with number 11. Ok, I didn't clean my room. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't cleaned my room. Perfect. There you go. I haven't, right? Negative. I haven't cleaned, cleaned my room. Nice. And the last one, the last one, the last one, the last one will be for um, Jancy Lisbeth. Okay. No, they haven't been. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, they haven't, okay? No, they haven't. It says, no, they weren't. No, they haven't, okay? No, they haven't. Okay, nice, vamos bien. Creo que ahí tuvimos algunas eh, que quizás se nos complicaron un poquito, but it's normal, okay? We need to practice. So in the platform, if you do your activities, ahí viene un ejercicio de esto, okay? En la plataforma, so you will be able to completed it okay so let's see what else we have right here we have like less than 30 minutes look we have time expressions okay uh, as i told you at the beginning when we are talking about simple present we need to use expressions regarding simple present okay que decimos todos los días todas las semanas todos los años el complemento debe de ir relacionado al tiempo del que estoy hablando gramaticalmente, right? Like in Spanish, usted no dice, yo comí eh, todos los días ayer. No, right, no decimos así. Usted no dice, yo mañana comí. No, verdad, usted dice, yo mañana voy a comer. Yo ayer comí, así hablamos en español, right? The same story in English. We need to know the expressions that we can use depending on the terms. For example, in the simple present, we use every day, every week, every month, every year, every weekend. So repetitivo, right? Porque ese es el presente simple, una rutina, everyday activities. So look at this a little square that we have right here. And it says time expressions with past simple, okay? Cuando yo hablo en pasado, yo digo, ayer fui a comer pupusas. Yo digo, ayer... Eh, trabajé todo el día o el mes pasado eh, me gané la lotería no sé inventando right so pero esas expresiones decimos right when we are referring to something that was in the past okay look at the ones that we have right here uh, yesterday last week last month last year uh, between 1985 and 2017 Okay, those are expressions that we use with past simple. But look at the expressions that we can use with present perfect. Present perfect is lo que estamos aprendiendo, right? Present perfect. So the expressions that you can use is today, this week, this month, this year, since January 2018. Remember que Present perfect, dijimos que es algo que empezó allá en el pasado, pero todavía viene aquí al presente. Those, that's why the expressions are, are like this. Ahora, esta semana, este mes, este año, desde enero del 2018. Right? So those are the expressions that we can uh, put in the, uh, in the sentences, right? So that would be like the complement, okay? That would be like the complement. So are we clear with this part? Yes, right? Questions? No questions? 
Ok. No se han dormido, quiero ver. Cameras on, cameras on. Ahí están todos. Hoy no, teacher, hoy no me he dormido. Hoy no se ha dormido, no le ha quedado chance de dormir. No, porque estoy escribiendo. Y la okay. estoy escuchando. Ok, ya, no, no se me duerma. ¿eh? Cuando se sienta que ya va así, reaccione, agarre su vasito de agua y tome agua. Ok, okay so teacher. Osmin, Osmin, we are good, Osmin, todo bien. You are on mute. Yeah, yes, the, the, yes, ah, okay. Very good. So good so far. So good so far. Okay, vamos bien. And this is, I guess, the last part that we have. Oh my goodness. No, todavía falta todavía esto. Espérenme, espérenme. Ay, está mi computer. I don't know. This is from the book. Creo que no vamos a terminar esto, pero at least we are going to start. Okay, this is the building vocabulary match. Case match. Match, match, match. The name of the steps. Match, match. Relacionar. Unir. Unir, Para relacionar. Más. Match. Ok, Para ¿qué vamos más. a hacer? Vamos a emparejar. Match. <laughs> match the name of the steps in the process of developing a new product to the corresponding definition. Ok, ¿se acuerdan que mencionamos esto ayer, verdad? So remember que this is the, the, the book, ok, so we need to work on this. So I will give you four minutes, ok, I'm going to create the groups one more time. And ¿qué va a hacer usted? Unirme. La palabra, la definición con el concepto, o al menos lo que usted considere que es, ¿verdad? Que haga match, ¿ok? So let me move on yourself to the rooms, and I will share the picture of this, the, the picture of this uh, page in the WhatsApp group as well. Siempre se los mando ahí para que lo tengan, ¿ok? So let me, let me move yourself to the rooms. Uh, they will be the same rooms. Los mismos vamos a unirlos para no perder tiempo, ¿ok? So you have four minutes para hacer este match, ¿ok? The words with the definitions, ¿ok? Are we clear about what we are going to do? Yes. Yes, yes. Ok. Thank you, thank you. So we have four minutes only, ¿ok? So let's move on. Teacher, help oh, me. Rafael. Okay, let me join it right now. There you go.
Okay. Um, yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. Creo que ya vienen todos. Sí, aquí estamos one more time. So let's do it. My goodness, we have just a few more minutes. So we will do it quickly, okay? So, my God, what is the screen? Share right here. Okay, so here we go. So I will read it quickly and you can tell me the number, okay? So vamos a ir en este orden, right? So you will, you will give me the number. Let's see, Susana Hernandez, this one, the first one, you have to ask for the customer's opinion. Okay, number two, this marketing. What do you think? Do we have any other um, answer? Alguien tiene algo diferente? Number six. Number ah, six. Concept okay. Yeah. There you go. Cancel development and testing. Okay. That will be the 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 first one. Uh, okay. Let's see. I have the Thank yeah, just switch it. Yo creo que ahí tienen una, un, inverso, un inverso ahí ustedes. Solo ese, creo yo. Okay, so let's see. Um, Adriana, Stephanie, the next one. Adri. Ahorita, ahorita, teacher. Okay. Um, the second is number two, uh, test marketing. Perfect, test marketing, okay? That will be number two, right? Number two. Nice. Uh, Patricia, the next one, what will be the third one? And number three is number five. Perfect, yes. Product development, product development. There you go. Uh, the next one, let's see. Uh, Rosa Elena, the next one, what will be? is uh launch launch it launch. is number it, it pres number four there you go number four nice uh -huh. nelson yeah. the next one nelson edgardo okay. uh -huh. is, is one of is number three mm. Mm, estamos, es que vamos a ir en, en este orden, right? So, okay. and this one, that would be the steps to warranty the failing ideas be discarded immediately. So, what would be that? Okay. Product development. And that would be and number eight. Number eight, right? Idea screening. Nice. Uh, the next one, Osman, help us. Osman, I guess that you are on mute. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Uh, number five. Mm -hmm. The emblem is, mm -hmm. is number Mm -hmm. So we ha we are in the idea screaming that was number eight. So eight, this yeah. one, a carefully designed plan is important to make sure about uh, to make sure about the acceptable of the product. So what would be this one? Darwin, Darwin Edgardo. It's a uh, number one. There you go, number one, business analysis, right? Business analysis. <coughs> Sulma, the next one, Sulma, the next one, what would be? Is number three. Perfect, that's the brainstorming, right? Idea generation. And the last one, Lourdes Beatriz. Okay. And the last one, number seven, commercialization. There you go, commercialization, okay? So that's what we have. So tomorrow, nos quedo esto, meaning tomorrow, we are going to create the product, okay? So tomorrow comes with uh, ideas about why you are going to 
launch, what you are going to release, what you are going to develop, what you are going to create, okay, as a product. So that's the activity that we are going to start tomorrow. And uh, we will continue with some other activities, okay? So my goodness, time is over, but I have to pass the attendance, okay? So let me pass the attendance. Let me stop sharing the screen right here. And let's see what is the attendance ah, right here. So let's see, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Anna Michelle. Here. Thank you, Michelle. I will ask you for 10 more minutes, Michelle, okay? Please stay with me at the end just for 10 more minutes, okay? No le voy a depilar mucho. Um, then we have Angela de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you, Angela. Hoy no le dio sueño, Angela. No, me ha llevado corriendo, teacher, porque he querido oh anotar todo. Y, <ríe> y, si no, oh y, y si me dormía, no anotaba nada, así que he corrido para anotar. <ríe> ok, ok, nice. Ayer me vio dormida, creo yo. <ríe> Algo, poquito, pero es it's que, okay. It's es okay. que he estado con gripe y ayer era como el segundo día, entonces me sentía ah, como muy, ajá, por eso estaba No, but don't worry, no problem, si yo oh, veo a alguien ahí que está ahí, pero... Es que ya es noche, si usted ya es, es de vela la que estamos haciendo aquí. Pero Angela. Sí, la gripe me estaba molestando. Me ok. Dormida no prácticamente. Problem, Don't worry, ok. Yo les entiendo, créanme a todos. A mí me pasa Así a veces, que yo ¿no? creo que es con los ojos cerrados. Ok, okay. nice. Uh, let's see, Darwin. Present teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Flor de María. No vino florcita hoy. Uh, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Joana Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Lourdes. Present. Thank you. Mayra Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson. Present teacher. Nice. Ophelia. Here teacher. Nice. Osmin. Present teacher. Good night. Uh, good night. Rafael. Present. Thank you, Rosa Elena. Present. Nice, Sandra. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Susana, Susana. Here, present. Okay, thank you. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Zulma Rosaura. Present. Ok, here we go. Ok, miren, exacto, ¿no? Qué puntualidad. Oh, ok, verdad, sí. so we finished. Es que no, no los puedo desvelar. Ojalá no tengamos problemas con el video que se me cortó, pero, anyways, ok, so we have the class así pedaceado, pero ahí lo van a ver en el canal de YouTube. No sé si revisan ustedes. Eso es Darwin. That's not time for a hamburger. Yes. <laughs> Ahí pueden revisar, les mandan a ustedes como el link donde están todos estos videos grabados. Y ahí va a quedar, ahí van a ver que va a haber pedazo 1, pedazo 2 y pedazo 3, porque esto sí me va a quedar, porque se me cortó la, la, la reunión varias veces. Pero anyways, ok. So thank you, ok. Don't worry, don't get panic. I always say this. Vamos bien, no se preocupe, no se me esponje, no va a estar ahí soñando que está en la clase con la maestra. No, usted tranquilo, ¿ok? No va a estar ahí teniendo pesadillas del presente perfecto. Relax, ¿ok? Tranquilo, descanse, and I hope to see you tomorrow, ¿ok? So, ahí vamos, vamos bien. Ahí solo me hace el favor, Michelle, de esperarme un ratitín, ¿ok? And I hope to see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Descanse, and see you Tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, bye, bye. Bye 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 bye. Ok, so okay. thank you Michelle for the time, no le voy a quitar mucho tiempo, si ya, ya estamos ya en las últimas. Ya. La última, <laughs> ok, sí. so how you feel, how you feel the class, cómo ve la clase, so far so good, 
What do you Ay, think? Fíjese que estoy encantada con las clases. Oh, really? Nice. Sí, este, porque eh, en los módulos anteriores era como que solo de, de llevar las, de hacer todas las actividades en el manual y casi que no recibíamos como que mucha explicación eh, de la gramática. Entonces, me ha gustado mucho porque cuando comencé a estudiar inglés a inicios de este año, los primeros cuatro módulos eran exactamente así. Entonces, en los módulos que acabamos de pasar, me sentía como un poco perdida porque me hacía falta eso. De, ah, okay. Ajá, de, de como de repasar la gramática. Sí, y yo estoy tratando ahí de recordarles allá cuando vieron eso, ¿verdad? Porque Ajá. a veces uno se le olvida, pues, y, y es normal, ¿verdad? Tanta cosa y uno no se dedica solo a eso, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí son cositas que el verbo to be, el presente simple, pasado, o sea, ustedes lo tienen que tener bien claro, porque si no tenemos problema en estos tiempos que estamos ya viendo acá de presente perfecto, pero créame que yo trato de, de que no se me duerman porque pues sí es noche, están cansados y, y, y eso pues, pero ahí de vez en cuando me gusta hacerlos reír para que tenerlos despiertos, ¿verdad? Que participen, que ustedes sientan que, que algo dicen, ¿verdad? No puede venir usted a la clase de inglés y no decir ni pillo en inglés, usted Ajá. tiene que decir algo, aunque sea leer, pero algo pronunciar sí. para que usted sienta que ahí va mejorando. Sí, porque siento de que por lo menos eh, como por la modalidad que había estado teniendo en, los, en, los, en, el, en el módulo anterior y en el que le seguía el anterior, siento como que mmm, ahorita hay palabritas, hay, sí, más que todo con el vocabulario nuevo que me cuesta pronunciarlo. Siempre uh -huh. como que me trabo, entonces. Y sí, lo que sí me cuesta un montón es como expresarme en inglés. Entonces, eso sí, creo que... Y fíjese que eso es normal. Si ustedes le pregunta un qué, 100% de alumnos que están aprendiendo inglés, siempre le van a decir, mire maestro, yo le puedo leer lo que usted quiera, yo entiendo cuando usted habla, pero no me pregunte porque ahí ya me quedo, ¿verdad? Yo no hablo Ajá. mucho. Entonces el, el, el speaking es la habilidad que a veces más nos cuesta. Por eso yo los pongo a que me diga y aunque me, tal vez alguno va ahí con esfuerzo, que no haya la palabra medio trabado, pero tiene que decir algo, porque así es como ustedes van a, a soltar la lengua, hablando, hablando, hablando. Y ahí yo le voy a preguntar hasta que comió cosas que sencillas, pero lo que yo quiero que usted sí. hable de una o de otra manera, hable, Ajá. use el idioma. Sí. ¿Verdad? Y... Pero me imagino, Michelle, que quizás usted había estudiado también anteriormente o, o solo esto, porque yo la escucho bastante bien. <ríe> Fíjese que no, este, yo nunca había estudiado inglés. O sea, aparte de las clases que recibí allá cuando, cuando estaba en el colegio, uh -huh. de decir que he recibido al, como algún curso o he estado yendo a algún lugar a recibir clases de inglés, no, hasta ahora. Ah, Entonces, okay. este... Tal vez, no sé, lo que sí a mí me gusta es eh, escuchar música en inglés. Escuchar ah, música, excelente. música en inglés. Entonces, no sé, siento que por lo menos eso me ha ayudado algo en la pronunciación. Sí, no, definitivo. Escuchar música, ver la televisión, el hobby que usted más haga, por lo menos yo tele casi no veo, pero música sí, uh -huh. so, hay que poner música en inglés, eso ayuda un montón, a veces uno no entiende, y dice a ver qué dice la canción, uh -huh. ¿verdad? pero de tanto escuchar, usted la empieza a cantar, se la aprende, luego usted va captando el, el qué significa y aprende, o sea, eso es excelente, uh -huh. si usted tiene eso que, que lo hace, siga así, uh -huh. siga así, porque de una o de otra manera ustedes tienen que andar escuchando el inglés. Ajá, sí, porque igual yo soy como usted, porque a mí el, el, para ver televisión no soy mucho, prefiero mm. más la, escuchar música porque lo puedo hacer en cualquier lugar. 
Entonces, y sí, desde chiquita he estado como que escuchando música en inglés, gracias a mis papás, entonces, no sé. Tal eso, vez eso le ha ayudado, sí, porque yo la verdad, a muchos de aquí les escucho que, que sí tienen buena pronunciación, siempre quizás alguna palabrita, pero es normal, o sea, Ajá. siempre más de una palabra eh, no va a costar pronunciarla, pero yo, al menos usted, Siento que tiene buena pronunciación, ¿verdad? Y, y qué bueno, qué bueno. Y pues motivarlo, ¿verdad? Como yo se los digo a todo el grupo, pues sé que no es fácil, es un esfuerzo que ustedes hacen de estar aquí. Pues sé porque trabajan, ¿verdad? No pasan ahí uh -huh. eh, haciendo nada en la casa, sino que trabajando y un esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Yo lo que les, les animo a seguir adelante porque uh -huh. muchos dicen, no, ya esto ya va más difícil, mejor. Aquí me retiro, ¿verdad? Porque ya no tengo tiempo, porque ya no puedo, pero no, ¿verdad? Yo les animo a, a seguir, a, a repasar, vean sus apuntes, vean, eh, no sé si ustedes tienen el récord de todos los módulos que van cursando en la plataforma, yo creería que sí, ahí, ¿verdad? De vez en cuando, hey, que vi allá en el, no sé, en Ajá. el beginner, beginner 3, ya no me acuerdo, voy a revisar, ah, aquí vi el presente Continuo, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. eso, cuando tengan un tiempito, ¿verdad? Sería bueno, porque esa es la base. Ya en el intermedio, ya este, se asume que ya el verbo to be, usted ya no lo, no lo duda, el presente simple, el pasado simple, el presente continuo, tiempos gramaticales que ya. Y los verbos que yo les digo, los verbos. Hay Ay, que los verbos, siento que me va a costar. Ajá. Hay que los estudiarlos. Verbos. Hay de... de que agarre, no sé, de cinco en cinco, ¿verdad? Lo diga en presente, en pasado y en participio, el significado y cómo se escribe. De ahí Ajá. otro día, otro cinco y así, porque ahí sí no hay una mágica fórmula, sino que sí. ah, pues hay que repasarlos. Y también, este, bueno, lo que habíamos hecho eh, con el primer teacher que habíamos tenido era como que eh, agarrar un verbo, ir sacando como las oraciones en positivo, negativo, pregunta, para que se nos fuera quedando. Exacto, ¿Sí? definitivo eso, o sea, ahí es usar el verbo, ¿verdad? Para uh -huh. que se le quede, pero vamos bien, o sea, yo no les puedo venir a decir todo de un solo, mire, esto es así y ahí vea cómo es, no, sino que e ir datando poquito, poquito, pasitos ahí para que vayan ustedes afinándose y aprendiendo lo nuevo también a la misma vez. Pero eh, me gusta bastante el grupo, me gusta que ya todos se conocen y eso pues es como que ya cuando los mando a los grupitos ya no están ahí calladitos, o con pena, sino que ya ustedes, hey, vaya compañero, ¿qué hacemos? Y ya, eso es bueno. Sí, no, y, que... no y sí, a mí prácticamente me ha gustado de cómo da las clases, o sea, siento que hoy sí estoy aprendiendo otra vez. Ok, gran, sí. bueno, gracias, qué bueno, sí, ahí trato, ¿verdad? Como le digo, de vez en cuando ahí se me sale un chiste, pero no es porque, o sea, yo es porque quiero que ustedes estén despiertos ahí, trato de inventarme cualquier cosa, a veces ya les he dicho a algunos grupos, miren, levántese, sacúdase la cabeza, el pelo, mueva los hombros, porque pues sí, es noche, a las 10 de la noche ya todos están dormidos, ¿verdad? Entonces, oh, eh, wow. eso, pero gracias Michelle y cualquier cosa, pues ahí estoy para poderles vale. ayudar. Sí, pues por cualquier duda ahí lo voy a estar escribiendo. Sí, escríbanme, yo como les digo, yo aunque sean tardecito, nochecito, pero yo siempre les voy a contestar. Ok. okay. Ok, bueno, bien. gracias entonces Michelle por el tiempo y eh, nos vemos mañana, primero Dios. Sí, gracias a usted, Miss. Bueno, descanse, gracias. good night. Take bueno, care, bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye.